Scorpio. Happy February. So after my hiatus, I came back last month and I was like, hey, here's like a thousand things to think about in your reading. Which chakra should you work on? What are your affirmations? You know, uh, how can you develop your spiritual growth? And all of those things are important and I do want to share those with you. But for this reading, I'm going to go back to kind of the old school way and just randomly pull some cards out and see what February looks like uh, because I wanted to keep this video shorter so that I can do a love reading for February later just because it's Valentine's month. Month, and I will get that information out to you somehow. I just haven't decided if it'll be another video, if I'll send it out by email, or if I will post it to Facebook. But either way, you'll get all of that information. So Scorpio, I am going to tell you what your luckiest and unluckiest days of the month are though, just because those might be occurring in the beginning of February. So it looks like the 25th is your luckiest day this month and you actually don't have any unlucky days. Lucky you. So let's see what February holds for Scorpios. Okay, Scorpio. Um, this is a month of releasing things, physical things. Getting rid of, you know, a car that you hate. Getting rid of clothes you don't wear. Getting, you know, you might have 50 coffee cups and you're like, how many realistically do I need? Maximum, I use three a day. And, you know, there's seven days in a week. 21 maximum is about the capacity of all I could need. Um, so I don't know how many of you follow on Facebook. Maybe two months ago I shared um, the magical art of tidying up or whatever, that Marie Kondo book, um, there as an Audible gift link. So if you don't have Audible or if you do, you can go back there and find that and um, get a copy of it for free. I had a friend who I gave the book to because this was like honestly my favorite book I've ever, ever read. It's actually super spiritual in a lot of ways. But point, the point is um, I had a friend who said, hey, that book that you gave me, uh, there's now a special on Netflix. It's called Tidying Up with Marie Kondo, blah, blah, blah. So I go and I watch it and I actually don't care for the show. So um, if you like this show, you might really love the book. So anyway, it's kind of that concept. If something isn't giving you joy anymore, fuck it, get rid of it. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> because what you're doing is you're creating a big open space for new, better things to show up. I could get rid of like seven sweaters that I never wear and buy one that I want to wear every day because it's so warm and snuggly and adorable, right? So there's that. Anyway, they're saying um, this month it might be a little bit tough for you to really express or show love to other people. And the reason being is because um, you have a lot of new ideas. You have a lot of new thoughts. You have a lot of new people that you're talking to. A lot of things are going on behind the scenes. Maybe you found a new passion. And so your friends, your family members, they might feel a tad bit neglected this month. And so they're saying, just remember that it doesn't have to be a dramatic thing, okay? You can just send them all a message on like a Sunday afternoon, hey, I'm super busy, don't have time to talk to you or catch up, even though I'd love to, just wanted to let you know, I love you a fuck ton. Done, okay? Um, something like that will actually be a massive benefit to you, just because you don't want your relationships to start sucking as a result of your neglect. Um, what they're saying is though, some of you, are not moving on from something that you know you need to. You didn't learn your lessons and so you're stuck. And you know, a lot of you in that type of situation are possibly neglecting friends and loved ones and things like that in favor of showing love or care or even obsession, you know, to a person who is toxic in your life, maybe to an ex, maybe to a situation. Maybe you work at a place um, where you have zero work-life balance. It's totally fucking up the you know quality of your life. It's damaging your relationships, but you continue to focus on that. And so you start to feel resentment. You start to feel empty. And so um, this is kind of why that book is <laughs> going to be important because it's all about thinking about what brings me joy. What do I love? If it doesn't bring me joy, if a relationship doesn't bring me joy, if a job doesn't bring me joy, if you know possessions in my home don't bring me joy, bye. Because why shouldn't you live a joyful life? Why shouldn't you 
I mean, maybe part of you because you're like a Scorpio and you're brooding. Trust me, I know that's my moon sign, so I get extra drama. But, I mean, you can only live there for so long. You don't want to be there all of the time. And so what they're saying is, you know, forming loving connections, like living and focusing on the energy of love is going to be very, very important for you. And I think a lot of... um Things will go better for you this month if that is the energy you decide to be in. If you are only going to focus and um, keep around the things that you're truly connected to, which Scorpios have no problem uh, kind of discerning what they're connected to and what they're not, uh, then this will be the po the best month actually for you. This could be a month where you meet new people because you've cleared old people out of your life. New best friends. Maybe you find, maybe you quit your job and you find the dream job for you. You're forming deep connected bonds that are like, you know, coming from deep within your emotional soul type of connections this month. Should you be able to say goodbye to the things that don't work? So my darlings, what kind of affirmations do we need? And they're saying communication is going to be the most important thing. Kind of like how I said, you know, people you want to keep around, things you want to keep around, express communication and love to them. You might not be doing that enough. Um, understand that every single problem does have a resolution, even if it doesn't always feel a million percent amazing. And just remember that, like, love is always the goal. Listen carefully to other people, what they're saying. You know, it's um, listen more, talk less kind of an energy. And just kind of go, okay, you know what? Every failure or disappointment, that's my past. Moving forward, I'm not going to be that way. I'm not going to live that way. And this is why you would cultivate a month that has zero unlucky days. So I am actually super excited to do your love reading now um, because it sounds like some of you might have a soulmate coming. Yay! And um, I'll also get you all that extra information for your month of February very soon. I was going to say shortly, and I was going to say shoon, and that's weird. My apologies. Uh, I love you a ton. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video, uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!